civil society groups have an advantage. Mm, they are fast. In, in acting, in responding, in addressing an issue. And the difference the, the NGOs have made is they've brought an issue interest into the UN. They're not arguing from the perspective of U United States or India or France or Britain or anybody else. They're arguing from the point of view of an issue, whether it is uh, environmental protection, whether it is human rights, whether it is a position of women. All the important social movements in this country that we can remember uh, from uh, uh, gender equity to uh, 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 racial equity uh, to eradicating cigarette smoking to all these things came from the gra you know upwellings at the grassroots. As far as NGOs are concerned, they're very very split. There are some NGOs who do the work for corporations. There are some NGOs who do the work for the planet and for people. I look now at the way in which business is taking those perspectives from civil society and embedding them in their views on consumerism, on transparency, on accountability, on what they owe to their customers, to their investors, to regulators. And a lot of that is imbued by NGO thinking. And I don't think that's really recognized very often. There is um, you know, a lot of push from the NGO sector and the civil society. Uh, they have come up with um, studies, they have come up with uh, action items. Um, individual businesses have adopted some of these things. If you think back uh, 20 years ago, uh, business was the enemy. Uh, and that's the way most NGOs approached it. And I was the recipient uh, of a lot of that. And it really always struck me that that wasn't sustainable, that attitude. Uh, it had to change. And it had to change on the business side. Business had to be much more open to working with NGOs. And the NGOs had to change their attitude too if we really wanted to actually affect solutions. The suspicion between the NGO community and the business community was deep back 25 years ago. Now there are, there are bridges building because of increasing knowledge of each other and increased attention from business towards the NGO community and from them realizing that the private sector are, are crucial as movers of realities in people's lives.